Afternoon guys, just a short video on a bit of waffling if you like on things that have been going on and things that have been happening and general chit chat. Um, Grawan's doing okay, I've got a parachina there that split his um, tail fin which I'm keeping an eye on. I have had him out and salt bathed him and tamadeemed him and etc etc water's a bit murky but I'm piling the food in at the minute um, so yeah they're, they're, they're doing okay to be fair putting some growth on I've now put a heater on that pump side sorry not, f not um, filter side pump side yet return side um, like I was advised to so that's on there now doesn't kick in much to be fair whereas the air source heat pump on here last few days it's been kicking in in the morning the temperatures are shocking still shocking don't know what's going on with the, the British weather but the water's uh, clearing up now it's, it's taking some time um, the, the pumice I should have left the pumice in I shouldn't have gone with um, the infrared media but we'll see I might have a different opinion later on down the line but I've had the pumice in for 12 months and it was working great I suppose it's a mixture of both with the um, changing the pumice and plowing the food in, I am I am putting more and more food in now, so could be a mixture of both. But it seems to be clearing up the uh, the water condition that is. We got Fred's after food again. Always after food. Uh, feeder over there. I, I've just put some of that copper tape round to stop any slugs getting in. Um, I the koi keeper advised me to do that. Um, mind your own business, he's just coming back now after splitting it to put the media in. Water's a bit murky, but as I say, I'm putting a lot of food in at the minute. But at least there's not so many fines as there was. Big bad Fred. This uh, shower that I had off Lee has um, marked one of his, and they're called barbels on the side of his mouth. But they keep they keep sucking on each other's mouths. These lot do. But yeah, he's, he's marked the one on the left hand side. I think it's healing up now. To be fair, I'm just keeping an eye on that. Bad Fred. This snow is soggy, I'd have Mark Chetters doing lovely to be fair. He's putting some right growth on. He's a really friendly fish as well. Really nice fish. Danichi Kahaku off Okikoi, that's coming on well as well. The Achiba, he's always been doing well. So yeah, there is, a, there is a few fines still in there, but it's not half as bad as what it was. And as I say, the heater kicks in. The heater kicks in in the morning and at night. But that's doing well, to be fair, the heat is. Talking of feeders, I was hoping to pick one up from the BKKS the weekend, but they're just so pricey. I was looking at the RS feeders, but they need to come down a bit more to suit everybody's pockets, really. Um, I really would like an RS feeder, but need to get them down. What do you do? Do you buy an RS feeder or do you buy a JBL? Um, it's probably 100 quid difference in it. I, I just don't know. 
I do like the idea of the RS one. Um, profi feed has been mentioned to me. Why don't I get a profi feeder? But I don't know. We'll we'll wait. Something might happen. If anybody out there has got an RS feeder that's uh, looking to shift it on because I don't know, don't hold enough food or it's not what they want, just uh, give me a shout and I'll um, kindly take it off your hands. Obviously, with some of the uh, the king's finest. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's that's doing well at the minute. Seem to have got over the parasites issue. I did um, I did PP it a couple of times to be fair, but I found that the um, the PP wasn't lasting too long. Although I'd cleaned filters and stuff before I used it. I mean, one lasted, one dose lasted three hours, but the other one was only about two hours, I think. But I've now bought uh, an orc meter, so hopefully on the next, if I have to do it again, um, I can monitor it properly and do it properly. I was gifted this orc meter here, but it was left to dry out. Um, and the probe, the probe needs replacing. It was a toss up between buying a complete new one or buying just the probe, but I decided to go with a complete new one from scratch. Um, what else has been going on? Yeah, the BKKS. Uh, let me just turn the music down a bit. The um, the BKKS, another cracking weekend. Good to um, good to catch up with so many people. I've got people coming up to me that I just didn't know. They says we watch your videos, blah de blah de blah, but I didn't know who they were. So I'm ever so sorry if I seemed a bit ignorant. I just didn't know who you were, and I can only apologise. But yeah. It was good to catch up with so many people. Good to see Aid back on the scene. Uh, the third musketeer, or the first musketeer, or the second musketeer, whatever he is, one of the three musketeers. Uh, he doesn't tend to come on the road trips with us so much now because he's uh, so busy. So busy on the weekends, so busy in the week, earning plenty of money for, to buy plenty more new fish. And obviously he's had his um, he's had his camper van uh, project on the go, so he's been completing that. But hopefully, once he gets back on his feet and realises his work's not everything, he can start coming um, back on the road trips because it is a good crack when the three of us are together. Uh, what else have I been doing? Oh yeah, congratulations again. I think he's still uh, floating around the clouds somewhere. Good old Vince. Well done, Vince. Really, really chuffed for you, brother. Um, what a result, eh, mate? Cracking result. Well done, mate. I think he was still floating round when I left the BKKS. Floating in the skies um, after we left on Sunday. <laughs> Fair play to him. Good to see Skeggy back on the scene as well. I, I, I know he was at the Koi collection not long back, but it was good to see Skeggy back, to be fair. Really was. Uh, met, as I say, met many a people. Too many to mention. Some new faces, some old faces. Not many mugs. Because as you can see, my collection's coming on anyway. Um, oh, I did get a mug off... Um, Jack, the Balding Reefer, from his new venture, UK Koi Supplies. Nip over there, over to them and uh, see the good things they're doing at the minute. Some good deals on, especially on air source heat pumps we noticed the weekend. 
some right deals on them and all the uh, treatments so nip over to UK Koi Supplies and see what they've got on offer other mugwas, I've had to move them up here, I've got that many now the newly Adfield one um, unfortunately I missed out on the, the special edition one as you know there was only two uh, and I didn't get a chance to shake the boxes to see which one was the heaviest but uh, yeah, that's a cracking mug to be fair fair play to him if anybody did get the uh, limited edition one I'll give you double what you paid for it just to keep my collection up <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, uh, I've got a well, I've got all the ones from uh, Shrewsbury Coy as well there I like a set to be fair um, so yeah, oh uh, I'm not going to take credit for this um, not one ounce of credit whatsoever because it wasn't my idea where I just followed suit so as you can see everybody has his shoes with Tempest bore valves that one I got off eBay and made up these two were um, Evolution Aqua ones the new type supposedly which still leak this was the very first one which was a bag of poo um, so I took guidance from and watched his video Umbakoi, Aaron and, and Leo everybody knows who they are but if you, if you, if you don't just nip over to their channel Umbakoi um, he always comes up with some cracking uh, solutions to problems so I've copied his idea uh, with the bore valve and just put the light on so again as I say I'm taking no credit whatsoever but I'll just show you I've um, changed that to a bore valve got a one inch to one inch threaded to solvent joiner there and then I've gone into my waist down here fortunately Mr Pipe wasn't around so Mr Pipe if you're watching what do you think of my pipe work <laughs> and then yeah, I've got this air tap here but I've also left the, the one way air valve inside this um, inside the Tempest because a lot of people I'm not really sure that it's the the, the bore valves, to, the, the valves, the taps to be fair that's been leaking I think it's the, the air part of it because I put all this together and I was still having like a weep and it kind of come from I believe this part here so what I've done, I've got some MS300 everybody knows I love my MS300 and put the MS300 round there and round the top of there and also underneath on this one here and it's bone dry and the reason for putting it for, for making that fitting up is so you can boil this a lot better because I've been finding a lot of debris sticking to um, sticking to the cylinder and you can't clear it with just a normal boil so what you do you you connect it up into your air pump so then you can just blast air into it so all I have to do then is um, shut the bottom shut the bottom valve leave the top valve open uh, and, and blast the air through and I can boil it for as long as I want and it clears all the crap off the side of the, the tempest but as I say, I'm not taking credit for that. Jump over to Humber Coy. He does a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. Uh, and it's not expensive to do, to be fair. And it's, I think, Evolution Aqua should be taking note from it and stop doing it the cheap way. 
for the cost of a ball valve, put a proper ball valve on there and sort this uh, epoxy idea out here. There's got to be something because they are a good bit of kit. I know the surge is out there, but to be fair, all you're gaining with the surge is a UV light. And most people have got UVs on the ponds anyway, so. Yeah, so um, nip over to Umbakoi and Aaron, obviously. Don't miss Aaron out. Uh, not Aaron, sorry, Leo. Don't miss Leo out. Um, he's part and parcel of the Umbakoi um, team. Father and son, what a cracking team. And grandpa now. Uh, they just need to get him on video a bit more. Because he's a lovely guy as well. Uh, well. Did I buy anything from BKKS? Um, only nets really. I bought on it. My chag's outgrown his net. So I've had to get a bigger net. For the chag. Because um, I'd already got the Norfine net there. And I just bought it, uh, the, top, the top part bigger. I got... Uh, this net as well uh, for the grow on so I can keep it separate I mean I, I'd already got a separate net for the grow on there but that's far better to be fair oh and I picked up this little sock from um, the Balding Reefers team UK Koi Supplies nice little sock to be fair for the grow on and I've already used it once already and I've only had it a couple of days found it really handy to use protecting the fish but other than that I didn't buy anything else um, I did have this conversation with somebody uh, I think it might have been Phil to be fair on the way home BKKS is brilliant I know it's all about fish and showing fish etc etc and yes there was a lot of dry goods about um, and dealers but what it kind of lacked it's not a criticism I'm not that sort of person but what I found what I felt it kind of lacked and I think somebody's really missing the boat here with these shows because people people go to these shows yeah to look at the fish yes to to socialise and meet other koi hobbyists, koi dealers, etc, etc. But, they also go there, especially when they're building new ponds and stuff, to buy bits for their pond builds. And I, I felt it kind of lacked somebody selling... Yes, there was some selling fittings, but it was just basically run-of-the-mill fittings. There was no... I apologise if I missed that, that, those dealers, but the, there was nobody selling the likes of, I don't know, air taps for example, I, I don't know, manifolds, uh, these fittings, um, I think there was one store selling these, but he hadn't got a great deal of them, he'd only got a few, um, what else? Air, fi air fittings, um, things like these, there was nobody selling these, there was nobody selling, again I apologise if you was, you got them in your van or whatever, but it wasn't on being advertised, um, pipe, everybody needs a, a, a length of pipe, one inch, inch and a half, two inch, four inch is a bit big to cart around, but you know what I mean, it, it, it seemed to be sh it seemed to be missing a dealer selling that kind of stuff for people who are out there to buy um, product for building a pond. So perhaps some, perhaps somebody's missing a trick somewhere. It'd be nice to see somebody. Um, yes, obviously get your fish and stuff, but it would be nice to see a stall. Sorry if it's not that they're not stalls, not the right word, um, shop or whatever you want to call it, selling the fittings to do pond builds. As I say, I didn't really see. 
I didn't see anybody doing that and Regents for, for the, the the Hannas there didn't seem to be anybody Oh no, you got Quinny there But I didn't see any other dealers Selling that kind of thing and not everybody's going to carry orc meters and stuff. I mean, I got that off Amazon um, And it was cheap off Amazon anyway, but I did look to see if I could pick one of those up at the At the show to be fair as I say, it's not a criticism. It's just an observation and I believe somebody's missing a trick. That's all um, If anybody's out there who does have shops with pipe fittings and they do have room on the vans amongst the fish when they're bringing fish down perhaps it's uh, something you ought to consider because I'm sure I'm sure there'd be a lot of people interested in buying fittings I'm sure of it in fact on the way back home I nipped into a local uh, supplier CD Aquatics and bought fittings because the fittings I wanted, I couldn't see anywhere on the, at the show, so I picked them up from uh, from the local. And to be honest, you sh we should be supporting our local dealers anyway. But um, that's what the shows are for, anyway. So yeah, I mean, people have asked me about videos. Why don't why don't I do this with videos? Why don't I do that? Why don't I show my face, etc., etc.? But as I've said from day one, I'm not really a YouTuber. I just kind of vlog what I've been doing, where I'm at. I'm not one that goes around um, vlogging everything. There's many, many people out there that's a lot 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 better and a lot experienced and I mean there's just, I'm, just take Phil for example the way he puts his, his content together it's absolute superb there's no way I could compete with that so I wouldn't even try um, the, the, the way he puts his videos together is just brilliant so yeah I, I haven't done any filming at the BKKS because there's there's many many people proper YouTubers around there that was doing that so everything's been covered from the start of well even setting up so everything's been covered there's people a lot more better at it than I, I would ever be to be fair so yeah I don't edit any of my videos I just basically run a video and, and load it if it helps people happy days um, I mean I, I did have people come up to me saying thanks for posting this, thanks for posting that, it really helped me so it is doing some good but as I say I never ever intended to be a, a, a YouTuber as such so yes guys that's uh, that's where we're at I think the next one we're looking forward to now is um, Newark. I think that'll be the next one, won't it? The one everybody looks forward to. They seem happy enough now. Fred's always happy, unless he's short on food. Them two, uh, them two are so hoggies. That one's putting some white growth on off Mark Chetta, Supreme Koi. If you didn't know who he is, which you should do, um, nip over to Su Supreme Koi. He's also got a WhatsApp group. Yeah, so guys, I'm going to... Um, now I've bored you to death. 
let's just see what temperature this uh I've set this to 20 and see what it's at at the minute it's not kicked in at the moment yeah so it's at 19.9 uh, I've got it set to 20 so 0.5 above and 0.5 below and the same on the one at the top there but that's just a clover leaf but yeah guys that's um that's enough for boring you to death, I think. Um, thanks again. Thanks to to all those people that come up to me at the show and said, I watch your videos, etc, etc. And thanks... Um, thanks again. I'll leave it at that. All I've got to say on that is, jobs are fish. All the best, guys.